really the, the secret to business is just do what you say you're going to do. It's career day at the Bronx Center for Science and Mathematics. Most of us are asked, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I feel like this is an opportunity for us to get to know about different jobs. Elizabeth, Laura, and other students listen to certified public accountant Daryl Jackson talk about his career. He was joined by others who devoted their afternoon to share their skills at the campus, a campus not only celebrating 15 years here on Fulton Avenue, but now being nationally recognized among the top performers according to the U.S. News and World Report's best high schools. We believe in preparing our kids for beyond college, college, career, and life. And I think that it's just a nice blend when you're able to speak to professionals from the field. Among those professionals, Mark Rangel, a former high school math teacher who is today president and owner of Paintworks New York. You just got to show people what's possible and like always just try to give back in whatever way you can and just be there and speak to people. I just hope that that, that I mean, these students understand that um, risk is necessary and, and risk is one of the things that make you great. From chefs to environmental waste, education, public safety professionals and more, students got a chance to hear what it's like to work in these fields. I would just really advise them to just continue to take risks, to be confident in their abilities because as you grow, you're gonna find people that are a little bit better than you in certain things. But don't let that hinder how hard you work because um, that's where you make up for those differences. Career day was like very useful. Khadija Cohn, who joined the school's newspaper, says she wants to pursue this field further. It's really interesting when you get to talk about things that are basically affecting your community. For academic dean and director of college counseling, Mitch Kurtz, career day is an opportunity to see his students dream, something that has been front and center in this school's mission. This school happens to be in the poorest congressional district in the United States, and so we know that these children in many ways, they're heroes, just navigating to school and navigating home. This event marks their fifth career day here on the campus, and based on the response of students, they're looking forward to more. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.